Captain William Bly, perhaps best remembered for Mutiny on the Bounty, had a close association with Sheerness. Captain Bly was involved in not just one mutiny, the Mutiny on the Bounty, but in four mutinies. In March 1795, Bly was appointed to HMS Calcutta based at the Nore of Sheerness. In October 1795, the crew of the Defiance mutinied. Bly, with 200 troops on board the Calcutta, took her alongside the Defiance. Leading the troops, Bly boarded the Defiance, ending the mutiny. Four of the mutineers were sentenced to be hung, later commuted, and four to get 300 lashes, three to get 100 lashes. In 1787, the bounty left England on a voyage to Tahiti to collect breadfruit plants and take them to Jamaica as food for slaves. On the 28th of April, 1789, the crew of the Bounty, led by Fletcher Christian, mutinied. Seizing control of the Bounty, they set Bly and 18 others adrift in the ship's boat. Bly was an accomplished navigator, having sailed with Captain Cook in HMS Resolution on his third voyage of discovery. Bly successfully sailed the small craft 3,500 miles to Timor. Amongst the ships involved in the Nor Mutiny was the 64-gun ship Director, commanded by Bly. The ringleaders of the mutiny quarrelled with Bly over his refusal to allow the ship's arsenal to be handed over to the mutineers. HMS Director was the last ship to surrender on the 5th of June 1797. Remarkably, in the wake of the Bounty Mutiny, Bly strove to avoid any of his crew being court-martialed. Bly would go on to command the Irresistible and under Nelson took part in the Battle of Copenhagen. During 1801 and 1802, HMS Resistible, captained by Bly, was often at Sheerness. On the 12th of July, 1791, Bly would get a second chance to take breadfruit from Tahiti to Jamaica. Having taken on ballast at Sheerness, HMS Providence and HMS Assistant sailed for Tahiti. This time Bly was successful, although the slaves refused to eat the breadfruit. On the 6th of August 1806, Bly arrived at Sydney to take up the post of Governor of New South Wales. Bly had been instructed by the Colonial Office to stop the practice of using rum as payment for commodities and to normalise trade. This was very unpopular and there was a mutiny. Bly was held prisoner for a year before being released and returned to England.